Well, there is a new exhibit at the Muhammad Ali Center that is downtown focusing on artwork from local women. They want to show how art and activism can go hand in hand. And Josh Ninke is there this morning checking it out for us. Josh? Hey, Shannon. Yeah, I'm in, in front of one of these very impressive uh, works, and I've got the artist here joining us this morning. Uh, this is Marlisha Woods. Uh, so, Marlisha, this, there's a lot going on here. What do you want people to, to know about your piece here? Oh, thank you. So, this entire exhibit right here is dedicated to Mrs. Ada Doss Campbell, and she, of course, has uh, been in the news most recently because she was a victim of medical racism and she died in the 1940s at Lakeland Asylum. And so this work is to honor her, to bring more uh, dignity to her story. When you see all of the images currently, it almost looks like a mugshot. And because the last image that her family has of her and the only image that they have currently of her is uh, the image that was taken when she uh, was involuntarily placed at Lakeland Asylum. And so there's a lot of stark shadows. If you can see the contrast, a natural photo doesn't have that. And so you can even see within the photo the treatment that the, the you know, there had to be some type of forced light in her face. Um, there wasn't a smirk as you see here. It was more of a, a stoic, right? Uh, a, not necessarily a frown, but a stoic frown. Um, and so this is to bring her more honor. This is actually an underpainting and it's not complete. Um, in June, right after Juneteenth, on June 24th, I'll be uh, conducting an Artist in Action Day here at the Ali Center, and we're inviting community members to come in and to engage in this space. Um, everything that is created for me is not, this is not a voyeur thing, this is uh, participatory. So I'm, I'm welcoming people to come in and engage, ask the questions, the hard questions, um, learn more about Mrs. Ada Doss Campbell's story, um, get to meet Dr. Renee Campbell, her granddaughter that for 20 plus years did the research to uncover this truth, um, and learn about the unmarked graves at E.P. Tom Sawyer State Park, um, and how uh, I would like more stewardship in that uh, regarding Central State. And so um, when you look at this piece here, come see the crooked painting, right? It's crooked on purpose. Uh, this is called Mending Fences, and it's an abstract piece, mm -hmm. but clearly it's not. Uh, it's a skew. I did that on purpose because I felt like if, you know, I'm going to tell the story, I'll tell it like it is. And right now, when you go to see those unmarked graves, they're toppled uh, tombstones. Um, they're currently crumbling. And when we went out, myself, Dr. Campbell, and community members, legislators, um, we, we came out on February of this year to honor uh, Mrs. Campbell. And when we went out there, I saw that the fence line was broken. And not only was the fence line broken, some of the, you know, the shrubberies, it just, you could see that it was unkempt. Yeah, I, I hate to cut you off, but we're unfortunately out of time, but obviously you could see how that's reflected here in these paintings. Beautiful works here. Uh, this is open all the way through December. Definitely want to come check this out. Uh, we'll have another one of the artists coming up here in our next half hour. Live here in Louisville, Josh Ninke, Wave News. Incredible. All right, Josh, thank you.